Hello everyone, and welcome to Fallout 76. It's gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to it. I already got to level like uh, 20, I think, in the beta. Um, but I deleted my character just now. And uh, we're gonna start anew. And we can all experience it together. Now in the beta, I didn't do any quests or anything. I just kind of wandered around, killed stuff, and all that. So this time we're actually gonna be doing quests. And I'll be interested to see the story. So, uh, yeah. Also, before we begin, I have something set up. Feast your eyes on this. Hey, look, it's the map of Fallout 76. Beautiful, right? Now, I'm gonna just go over to my left side here, and I'll be able to move some stuff around. Right there. I just placed a figure on the map. One of the uh, figurines you get to put on the map. Cool, cool. That's a Brotherhood of Steel member right there. Kind of hard to tell from the top-down view, but uh, yeah. Interesting. So if we ever have to reference the map, and I want to show you guys in a kind of a cool way, I can just kind of switch over to this scene here and, you know, show it to you. Um, also, one thing I want to test out before we uh, get too far in, the map glows in the dark. Now, when I first unboxed it, it was in the dark, so it didn't have time to absorb light to uh, do the glow-in-the-dark effect, but I want to see if I can do it now. So, Alexa, lights off. Yeah, still nothing. Alexa, lights on. I mean, it's a little bit, like, lit up when I can see it, but nothing, uh, nothing too crazy there, so. All right. Come on, there we go. All righty. Well, everyone. Let's begin, shall we? We'll just make our character and kind of go from there. So, I want to kind of play, uh... It still has my screenshots from the previous game. <laughs> Get ready to see some weird shit, y'all, when we're loading in and whatnot. So this was uh, shortly after I had found that mask in this bank vault area. It was a creepy mask, so I was like, I'll fucking wear this. It was great. Okay, I was level 17, it looks like, when I took that picture. Or at least at the end of the game, I guess. When I had quit my other character, but... Yeah. It was interesting. We're gonna see some other pictures that are kind of weird too, which is gonna be great. Well, I'm gonna shut up and let the credits there, the opening thing here, do its thing. So, have fun. War. I was adjusting my mic. Fuck. War never changes. In 1776, this great nation accepted that armed conflict was the only way to preserve our rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. If our founding fathers could only see us now. From Antietam to Amiens, Okinawa to Anchorage, we have fought. And now, the red menace is at our doorstep. Democracy itself is under threat of annihilation. That is why today, July 4th, 2076, 300 years after our great nation began, we gather together to honor the completion of Vault 76. This sprawling underground shelter may have been engineered by Vault Tech, but it was built by you good people of America, so that if the bombs do come, if the end does come, our way of life will endure. But not everyone will be saved. Those chosen to enter this vault must be our best and our brightest. For when the fighting has stopped and the fallout has settled, you must rebuild. Not just walls, not just buildings, but hearts and minds, and ultimately, America itself. So as we stand here today, we pray that the world will know peace. But if that is not our destiny, if war must come, we stand together knowing that here in Vault 76, our future 
begins. Ray. Now we get to make our character. Good morning, Vault 76. This is the Overseer. I hope you all enjoyed the party last night. Even those who may have overindulged and overslept. All right. But it's time to get up and get out there. We've been locked away long enough. Today is Reclamation Day. This is the guy I went with last time. Like, <laughs> it may be time to great. All right. Um. Never forget the day you all entered Let's see here. Air. You come from every Anything crazier life, than that. Every race, color, and creed. Nah. But you all mind. share one very important trait. You are this country's best and brightest. But more importantly, you'll always be my family. Yeah, we'll go with that one haircut I found before. Right. Yeah, there we go. We're going to keep the gray. All right, how about the uh, facial hair? What do we got for that? Start at the top here. We'll just work our way down. Okay, we got none. You know, some shadow and stuff here. That's not bad. I would never have a mustache personally, but I think for uh, what we're going for, this is what we're going to do. Yeah. Keep the gray because we're going to kind of be like an old crazy guy. That's the plan anyway. All right. Eye color. Let's go green. Um, let's see. About we go a little bit sun-kissed there. Uh... Up there, type wrinkled. Yeah, it's gonna be kind of older gentleman. Oh, we can like wrinkle the hell out of it, huh? No. What's what's the the percentage thing I'm changing for? I don't I don't see anything happening here. Guess I'll just leave it there. Whatever. Okay. Not too much I actually want to change. How about the eyebrow type? <laughs> that wouldn't be bad. The thick light. Yeah. We'll go with that. Change the color on those, or... Ah, that's not what I wanted. Uh color. Nope, that's just that. Okay. Hmm. Alright, well, I don't want to change too much about the guy, because I don't really care about the face too much. Basically, I just want the, uh, the kind of crazed, old, like, silver-tongued, old man vibes what I want. If you've seen my past videos on Fallout 76, what I plan to do is, uh, start off normal, and then just go crazy with, like, radiation poisoning and, like, found a Church of Adam and shit like that. It's going to be great. Anyway, <clears throat> I think we're done here. Um, extras. What do we got for extras? We got some grime here. None of this makes sense, like, to have right now. Like, maybe later once you're outside for a while, you can, you know, put it on. But, uh, what do we got for we got some scars and stuff? We got all that. Jesus Christ, did you see that one? What the fuck? Crazy. Headburn. My fat lip. Uh, do we have a none option up here? No. Guess we can just cancel that. Uh, blemishes, markings. We got freckles and moles and all that. Makeup, we have. I can give him lipstick. Okay. Ooh, I could make him like. Like that. Make it look really weird. <laughs> uh, what do we got for color here?
I think black would look like the best if we were to do this. I don't think I want to, so let's get <laughs> cancel out of there. All right. So, and body. Let's see, right now we're kind of just mid tier. I think what we want to do though is go a little bit on uh, right here ish. A little bit muscular, a little bit thin though, and a little bit larger. Yeah, right there, right, right there. That looks fine. All right, I think we're done. Let's go. We'll call him plugin. Let's go. All right, we can uh, take a picture now. Roll her down. Oops. Okay, re. Uh, Well, I guess my guy is just gone now. That's fine. Okay, let's uh, let's find something else to take a picture of then, huh, shall we? Okay. Uh, how about we take a picture of? That f fucking owl thing, whatever the hell that is. Uh, let's see. There we go. Yeah, that'll be my my thing. At least until I uh, get a better one. So, all right. Let's see if I can fucking remember how to like get third person again. God, not V, it's not V. Actually. I don't think I can go in third person yet, can I? I can just rest. Take a good old good old rest before we head on out. So. Fallout 76, everything is, you know, um, well, online. Sleeping doesn't actually move time forward, it's just like a, a way to gain some health and stuff like that, but we can get up now. Right, so I don't think, uh, previously I couldn't pick anything up, looks like I still can't. So, you can use some stuff, but you can't really do too much with, like, anything here. It's kind of a shame. I mean, you can play this guitar, but you can't pick it up and actually take it with you. Damn, he's got some skills. All right, anyway, we can uh, use our terminal. <clears throat> you are invited. Happy Reclamation Day. Today's the day, everyone, Reclamation Day. We've been preparing for this moment for 25 years. We're ready. You're ready. America is waiting for us. So let's get out there, the Overseer. You're invited. Countdown to Reclamation Day. To everyone. When? 10 p.m. to midnight. We've opened up the remaining liquor rations and the official Vault Tech party hats. The Overseer will give a speech at 10 minutes to midnight and will lead to countdown. Have fun. And then we got a holotape. It's a game, by the way. So you hold down space, basically, until it, uh, the beer is full, and then you just kind of throw it down at the people there. Use the arrow keys to, you know, move up and down. Now it gets a little bit harder. A couple more people come in and all that shit. You can't waste beer either, or else you get a penalty and all that. Oh, okay, I'm supposed to catch those. I wasn't sure. Oh, cool, I can just dash from one side to the other. That's excellent. Hey, we win. So we gotta choose one that's not shook enough. I think it's this one. Aha! 
Screw you, Vault Boy! Vault Bandito, I suppose. That's another one. Why am I giving robots beer? Or I guess Nuka Cola, because it's Nuka Tapper. Not a beer tapper, <laughs> but still. Hey! Speedrun tactics. This one. Hey. All right, I'm actually done. Let's get enough of that. We'll take that with us um, in case we want something to play along on the road. But uh, yeah. Also, I think if we go into settings here, I think I actually have my uh, voice chat muted. Yeah. So they were saying that they were going to add push to talk. Don't think they got around to doing it. Um, basically, if I turn push to talk, or if I turn voice on, everyone's going to hear me all the time I'm talking. Um, and we're going to hear everyone every time they're talking. Um, we're going to turn it on. Just going to see the crazy shit that's going to happen. But when I turn it on, you're going to hear idiots a lot. So, we're going to go auto for that. Um, anything in the game? Nope. Display. All that's good. Excellent. Let's, uh... Out. What do we got for challenges? So, craft or scrap a piece of chest armor, kill 20 creatures, learn a recipe, level up, rank up a perk card. Um, we got claim the workshop at Tyler Country Fairgrounds. I think that's north? No, it could be north. That's a water park. Uh, um, complete events or quest with a group. I'll need to find some people to group up with. Gather building supplies, learn new recipes or plans, take a photo near Vault 76. Okay, I can do that as I leave. I don't know why those are completed. <laughs> Whatever. Um, explore Appalachia for 24 hours. I've got eight done. Um, fully rank up a perk card. Reach level four. Excellent. Survival. Acquire different kinds of diseases. Brew teas and drinks. Collect purified water. Collect wood. Deploy a camp to settle Appalachia. I like how to do that 76 times. <laughs> uh, harvest distant herbs. Harvest all that stuff. Okay, I guess because it's uh, I've done it before on other things. So, combat just do stuff. Social is uh, decorate stuff and join groups and all that. And world is collecting quests and holotapes tapes and all that fun stuff. So, excellent. All right. Look at all this food and stuff we can take with us, but we, like, aren't going to. Ah, oh, man, I can already feel the copyright strikes coming on YouTube. With all the... music. Alright, we got our Pip-Boy, yeah! So, I like this interface. You're able to switch between this one and the, uh, the one where you actually pull it up physically in your arm, but this one allows me to actually see what's going on here. So... Special is all zero, or ones, I guess, but, uh, uh, what switches between the tabs again? Okay, whatever. Just gotta physically click. Okay, out we go. Oh, I'm on the ground level this time. I have been tasked with nothing less than the rebuilding of America. Such a huge responsibility. Just know that Vault Tech is proud of you. I am proud of you. So the last time I came, the last character I had, um, I started at the top. I've got um, right in that one actually, and whatnot. As you can see, there's a bunch of stuff here. They got those um, power generating bikes in there, and all that fun stuff, and a lot of stuff's cordoned off. I wonder if at some point we can come back in here. We actually do stuff. Can I pick up this party hat? No, that's too bad. But yeah, if we go uh, upstairs here, 
Um, there's just like a cafeteria area. And again, there's nothing you can really do in the vault. Last I, uh, last I knew. Ice dispenser. Ooh. Nothing. Okay. Now that's just an area that you come through later, so. But yeah. There's not, uh, not much actually in the vault that you can interact with. I tried to interact with stuff last time in the beta, and uh, there was nothing at all. Sir, hello. Hello. Uh, finally, I hear you never wake up. Indeed. All right. So yeah, basically just follow the uh, the exit signs until you're out there, and then you'll uh, learn about stuff as you go. Stay fed. Stay hydrated. Very important. Thank you, worthy. Line starts here. So yeah, you kind of just go through these little checkpoints, getting stuff as you leave the vault. Remember, sir, Radex to prevent radiation sickness, right away to cure it. Thank you, uh, Cavendish. Weird name. Fight vigilantly. Use Stimpak. Be healthy. Avoid radiation. We got our. Uh, oh, <clears throat> building a personal power. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know. We'll find out, though. Got some building supplies. We got some adhesive, cloth, steel, wool, all that good stuff. Can't even use a drinking fountain. Man, that sucks. There we go. V is what it is. A potty hat. Fine. Meet strangers. Exchange pleasant trees. Good to see you all together one last time. Drunk, joyous, and not staving off a horrible death. Minute by minute. Before we go there, we have a quest marker in here. Also, I really want to go down like these areas here and kind of see what's all back there and whatnot. Maybe one day. But yeah, you can't really interact with anything, take anything with you, which is kind of weird. You figure, you know, you're going out to survive, you might want to take some fucking supplies and whatnot. But, uh, whatever. Overseer's Terminal. Alright. Vault Tech Report. <clears throat> confidential, confidential, confidential. Overseer eyes only. Violation, VTP, you know that stuff. Okay. 25 years after the vault doors close, you are to prepare your citizens to leave Vault 76 and to begin a process called reclamation. Specifics will be disse uh, dis disseminated automatically as the time approaches. After reclamation day, you are personally ordered to find and secure three nuclear silos, codenamed Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie. If these sites are still nuclear capable, ensure no one except Vault Tech can access or launch nuclear ordnance. To be clear, even if there are other authorities, whether government, military, or otherwise, their claims are to be ignored. Vault Tech alone maintains jurisdiction. That's, uh, odd. Okay. Vault 76 parameters. Congratulations, Overseer. Vault 76 is one of the most important projects that Vault Tech has completed. No expense has been spared on building, staffing, and selecting the inhabitants of your vault. The cream of the crop of America have been chosen, including uh, luminaries from vault -Tec University. The special classes and instructions you've received about managing a vault do not apply to this assignment. Vault 76 is special. Your mission is to see to the livelihood and well-being of all your residents, and to make sure they are ready to colonize America once the all-clear is received. It is to be expected that you will face challenges as we haven't prepared for yet. Adapt, learn, thrive. America is counting on you. Operation procedures. Day-to-day -day duties. Your job as overseer is to see to the overall health and safety of Vault 76. Avoid loss of life at all costs. The vault residents have been carefully chosen for the unique skills and temperament. Due to the aptitude of the vault residents, you may be presented with unique challenges in maintaining order. As a last resort, each domicile can be locked down and the resident imprisoned for any duration you deem appropriate. Enforced solitary confinement can also lead to psychological issues, so factor that in. Although the vault doors cannot be opened from the inside, keep the entry clear of all unauthorized personnel. The security team will stow all weapons and munitions after the amen uh, amended entry period and will be armed solely with non-lethal devices. If America is to be rebuilt, every life in this vault is special. Preserve them all. Mandatory shutdown. Our duties have shown, studies have shown, 
Even after the relatively short duration of living in the amenities of vault Tech, that test subjects can grow to depend on them. That will not do for Vault 76. After the all-clear message has been received, Vault 76 will shut down all functions inside of 24 hours. Air circulation will cease to last, and you should warn the vault residents that staying inside the vault can be lethal after this period. Everyone must leave the nest. It's imperative that all residents are focused on the important job of rebuilding America. Archived files. Deleted files, huh? Reclamation Day has arrived. We counted down to midnight. I haven't seen everyone cheer like that since Vault Baby Number 1 was born. I called lights out a couple of hours ago. Had to get security to help a few people to their beds. Then the volunteers and I all had the standees set up, just like we practiced. Need to make the final recordings and then it'll be time to head out that door. I wish I could be there to help everyone on their way, but I know they'll make me proud. Survival first. As instructed, we set up the survival packages. I've advised everyone to run fast and far from Vault 76 as soon as the doors open. We have no information about what awaits us. vault Tech says we're America's best hope. Now we'll find out. Annual Review 2100 At current count, six residents are under disciplinary lockdown. That's up from four years. The morale officer has managed to quash the worst rumors about Appalachia. Cannibal mutants, burning rain, whatever, but tensions are high. It's generally pretty easy to maintain order. The pedigree of most of the residents is impressive, to say the least. But competence sometimes means arrogance, and arrogance means my authority gets tested more often than it should. Hydroponics has been struggling to keep up with demand. I've been loathing to institute mandatory rationing, but in 2101 that may be necessary. 76 is full to bursting with people, more than we anticipated. Top successes. The award ceremonies are a great way of stroking the most hardened egos, since everyone's so damn competitive. The low point was someone losing a tooth in a fight over the Best Dental Hygiene Award. The senior staff has been exemplary, as always. Very dependable and loyal. It's been a struggle to keep our overachievers placated. But another year down, and we're still here. Vault 76 World Cup has proven to be a huge hit. The damn ball nearly broke the jukebox, but the energy in the atrium was just amazing. Deleted files. No files found. Ah, that's convenient, isn't it? Right, let's go ahead and eject that holotape. And we'll go ahead and uh, play it. Put on our party hat, too. Why not? Let's do that. Overseer's log. Or should I say direct communication because whoever is listening to this had the moxie to try to find out where I've gone but I'm glad you did truth is I need your help I've been given a task and I've decided to break protocol and tell you what it is because if there's one thing I've learned in these past few years it's that we need to rely on each other there were three active nuclear silos in Appalachia before the bombs fell. They blew up the world before. We can't let it happen again. So we've got to locate and secure all of the silos. Or die trying. Hopefully the former. But it's been 25 years. I just don't know what we're gonna find out there. Or where to start. My directive was to go to the nearest population center and assess the situation. I'll set up a camp on the way once I get my bearings. Find me there. I know it will be scary out there, but you possess the... Perk cards! And I leveled up! Alright. So, we begin finding our, uh, special abilities here. So, we got strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility, and luck. Most do what you would expect them to, but let's go through them anyway. Hmm. Strength is a measure of your raw physical power. It affects how much you carry and your melee attacks. Perception affects your awareness of nearby enemies and your ability to detect stealthy movement, and your weapon accuracy in vats. I don't think I'm going to be using vats too much. Endurance is a measure of your overall fitness. 
It affects your total health, the action points drain from sprinting, and your resistance to diseases. Endurance might be good for me. A charisma is your ability to lead others. It allows you to share higher point perks and also rewards, affects your rewards from group quests and prices when you barter. So with charisma, normally it'd be used for like skill checks and stuff like that. But uh, now, since it's not so much skill checks that you need it for, it's uh, allowing you to share your perk cards between other people and that kind of stuff. So yeah, intelligence is your overall blah, blah, blah. It affects your ability to hack terminals and condition and durability that you gain from crafted uh, items and the return you get from scrapping. Agility is your measure of overall finesse and uh, reflexes. It also affects the manner of action points and vats and all that fun stuff. Which uh, action points I don't really care about. All right. Luck is your measure of general good fortune. It affects your recharge rates of critical hits as well as the condition and durability of items that you loot. Hmm. Good, good, good. So, I think we're gonna go with uh, endurance. So, I'm going with endurance for a couple of reasons. First of all, I want health. I also want action points draining from sprinting to uh, not drain as many. And recovery resistance to diseases is always good as well. But I want more health so I can take more radiation poisoning and uh, get more mutations. Essentially, is what I wanted for. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Alright, new perk, Lead Belly. You take 30% uh, less radiation from eating or drinking. And that's the only one I can kind of select at the moment. So, I uh, guess we'll accept it. Actually... Without choosing this perk, I can kind of see what we can choose from right now. So yeah. Let's, uh... I, I don't want it anyway, so let's grab it. <laughs> Yay! Okay. And then I can go ahead and press space and equip it there. And we can click exit. Yay. But I think I got a thing of cards, didn't I? I didn't get a, uh, ah, uh, I thought it was what all the cards were, they would give me like some random card packs, whatever. I hope it's not, not giving me those because, uh, I already had a character, that would kind of suck. Right, what do we got here, anything? I'm just gonna skim this real quick. Uh, security logs. Final entry. Uh, da, 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 da. So they tried to uh, arm the residents before they all left, but apparently they were denied for some reason. I don't know why you would, you know, deny people from being armed going out into the unknown. That's how you say Avuidazen? Oh my god. I was like... I have no idea. I thought it was pronounced completely different, or spelled completely differently. I know how to pronounce it, kind of, but goddamn. Alright, we're gonna get our first glimpse at the outside world! We kind of uh, came out at a, uh, a gloomy time. Well, not sort of gloomy, but uh, anyway, I want to get into the uh, photo mode because we need to take a picture near the vault. Let's go ahead and just take a quick snapshot. There we go. Actually, give me that challenge, right? Let me grab some of that. Is it not going to give me the challenge? Hold on. Oh, take photos near Vault 76. Five? I need to take five. Okay. 
Oops. What is a uh, favorite? C. Right, there we go. We got 12 shots. Do what we can do. Oh. Oh. Missed with that one. See, there's some new creatures or enemies that we got here. Not really creatures. They're, uh, Chinese robot things. Yeah. Okay. And now we're going for the fight. There we go. Propaganda flyer. Rebuilding the future of a broken nation. Yeah, it's like a Chinese thingy thing, you know. Anyway, they got some steel on them. Sometimes they have a uh, energy related nonsense, but uh, yeah. We have nothing to fight with now. Fuck. Let's just grab what we can from here. And, uh, this bus looks really new. Like on the inside, anyway. Get out of here, Red Menace! But they didn't want that. Okay, there we go. Take the Scooty deal scrap. Okay. So one thing you guys might, uh, not like is the, uh, the FOV on it right now. I'm watching other people play the game. I've uh, heard people say that it uh, kind of makes them sick and whatnot, and the motion blur as well. Um, I don't think there's any settings to turn off motion blur. There are no settings to uh, change the field of view. People have been able to do it through uh, changing the any file, but I don't really care too much for it as it is now. Like, I don't mind. Oh, I would change it if I could, but it doesn't make me sick or anything, so I'm not going to change it, but... Uh, you're all getting sick because of it. I mean, just stop watching. No. You don't have to. You know, just uh, don't don't get sick on my account. You know. Hey, assholes! Come here. So one thing that I uh, did uh, find out through the beta is that ammo was very, very fucking hard to come by early game. And my pipe pistol's gone because I was using it to fucking melee. Of course. Okay. Beautiful. Well, uh, later on you actually make ammo, which is nice, but, uh, yeah, for now, it's, uh, not, uh, not that good. The overseer said she'd set up her camp down the road to the south. All right, so let's look at the map here quick. So that's where the Overseer's camp is at. These are all players here. Level 11, 14, 22, and all them. You can kind of see some uh, groups here already. I think these two are probably grouped up. These two are probably grouped up. But, uh, yeah. Also, this side of the map is, like, hella high level. So we're not going to be going down there quite yet. Looks like these two might be grouped up as well. Um, I don't have to fear anything until I'm level 50. Or, not 55, I'm sorry. When I'm level 5 is when, uh... Fuck, pop the balloons! Shit, yeah! When I'm level 5, that's when I can be uh, attacked by other players and attack other players as well. So... See how all that pans out. See if I find friendly people or not. There's gotta be a way to, like, get into the photo mode easier, right? So does all that not count as a challenge either? That's near the vault, damn it. Whatever. I don't care too much about the atom points, it's all just uh normal shit anyway. Okay, so last time when I first started I went uh kind of north over here and then down to this lighthouse and stuff. Um let's actually go down the pathway. We might actually find uh stuff our level. Actually fighting. Orders from Mia Chavez. Paul, I need you to take the monthly scouting run to Vault 76. Those doors have to open sometime. Don't take risks. Observe for a few days and come back. I think he died. Now we got a machete. Excellent. I can 
go ahead and uh, equip that now. There we go. If you look at the bottom right, you can see my thirst and my uh, hunger at the moment. My thirst is going down a little bit. Hunger's pretty okay. But, uh, yeah. I assume once you go down too far, you start losing health. But uh, I've not ever had that happen to me. Uh, but right now, shit's kind of gorgeous. You can pick up uh, wood from just like the logs on the ground, which is nice. Robots give you steel. So, one thing that I was concerned with, um, looks like it is still a thing now, uh, when we first joined, we didn't get like a choice to join a specific server. It was just like, here's a random one for you to join. And it just kind of put us in one. I was hoping that it would have been like, uh, here you go. Choose from this list of servers you want to join. And that way, you know, you can join the same one over and over again. And uh, you can actually kind of get to know people on the server. And, you know, like uh, form a community and shit like that, you know. But yeah, it looks like uh, it's just kind of wherever you end up going is where you get put. Which I don't like. And we got some rad stags here. I want to see what's in that area, so... Go ahead and see if we can bypass these guys. I mean, if we try to fight them, they're just going to run away. Yeah. No point in dealing with that. You can also get wood from these log piles here. Here's a little... Ooh, hey. What are you doing? Got some caps. Yeah. Excellent. So we can cook there. What else do we have up this way, though? We got a banjo and a mouth harp. Too bad you can't, like, actually take those with you and just do that anywhere. Also, you can't, like, switch into photo mode while you're doing that, I don't think. At least I haven't found a way to. But, uh, yeah, we're starting to rain now. Let's see if we can cook anything up real quick. Okay. We got nothing. All right. Not even purified water, huh? I guess I need water filter for that, don't I? All right, that's fair. Oh, what's this? Tatoes? Oh, yeah, take those. Yeah, I can start growing those once I uh, get a place set down. I guess we'll just uh, keep going down here. We'll just head towards the, uh, the quest marker and do the quests in order this time around. Before we start exploring and getting crazy, uh, crazy stuff happening here, you know? It is going to be a little uh, odd. And we actually encounter people, and I'm talking like this, so... We encounter some people, which... This person probably the closest person we encounter. It might, uh... Be wise for me to shut up. And not talk so much, because they're gonna hear me. Kinda hard to sneak past someone when you're, uh, blabbering like this, you know? I'm gonna keep an eye out for any, like, weird shacks in the, uh, the sides here, because I actually never went south. I've not been this far south here. I've been over here. I, like, went this way. So everything south is new for me. It's uh, kind of crazy. There's some glow coming from over here. Anything over here? I see a dock. Ooh, a rabbit? Hmm. Well, there's some more wood. Having a good amount of wood is never going to hurt. Especially when you can you know, just build shit. So, come on, come on, come on, there we go. Go back into first person. That'd be easier. Alright, so we got a shack. Not a shack, it's a fucking. Judging by the icon on the map, it's a lumber mill area. Yeah. So we should be able to find some decent loot here, I would assume. 
some waste acid. That's not bad. Maybe we'll find a suit of power armor. I don't know. I did in the beta find some power armor. It was, uh... Interesting? I guess? Because, uh... Well... I couldn't use the first set I found. I could use the power frame, but not the actual armor, so I had to take the armor off. And at that point, I did not have a good amount of space left in my inventory. And, uh... Well, it was, it was an awful time for me. But yeah. I also think that power armor spawns in specific areas. So you can keep going back to an area and keep getting more power armor. Uh, from what I saw, anyway. Or just, like, hop servers and, you know, do that. But let's see what happens. All right, cool. We got some uh, crates here. We're getting a lot of loot. Got some ammo. Gunpowder. Ooh, a leather left arm. Can I wear that? Yes, I can. Level one. Hell yeah. Get a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of armor here. Not a whole lot, but a little. Better than nothing, right? Okay. And everything breaks. Every single thing breaks. So if we don't heal or, or repair our stuff, we run the, the risk of having it damaged and all that and breaking in the middle of combat, like my, uh, my pipe pistol did, which is unfortunate. Let's take a look at this uh, thing over here. Might be able to find something on it. Potentially. Mm. Looks like no. That's fine. I'm going to turn this light off because it's not too dark. Check out this house then, I guess, huh? I like how I got two wood from that huge-ass tree that was down there. Okay. Whoop. There we go. Okay, now I can stop fucking grabbing wood like a kleptomaniac. Now, here we go. A tinkerer's workbench. So, we can go ahead and look what we got here. So, we can build ammo from this, which I think I can make harpoons and rail spikes because I have steel. I don't need any of that, though. But what we can do is we can scrap everything here. So, pretty much uh, what I have found in the beta, at least, is there's no reason to not scrap all your junk. So look at my weight. I have 47 here. We're going to scrap all. And now I have 36. So basically what scrapping all your junk does is it uh, turns it all into... Let's go ahead and look over here quick. It turns it all into like base properties. Like loose gears, loose sprays, molded plastic, nuclear waste. Like it's base raw materials. Rather than carrying around buckets, you're carrying around steel scrap. That kind of stuff. So that's uh, always good to do to just free up some inventory space. It's rather nice, so, uh, yeah. Can I do anything with this? Nope, okay. That looks painful. Oh, there was a box over here, hold on. A couple boxes over here, damn. Got some caps, got a scalpel. Don't think anything's up here. But why not just look? Yeah, nothing at all. Okay. Nothing over there. No. Okay, down we go, I guess. Anything else back out this way, though? Ooh! We have, a uh, canned dog food. <laughs> and some wooden scraps. Okay. And that's pretty much all we got here, so remember that bus out there might have some stuff. But, uh... Oh, right there, maybe? Hold on. Ah, Red Roach! That oh, was a tick! Fucking get out of here. You ticky bastard. So they're one of the new creatures that are added to ticks. They, uh, kind of assholes. <clears throat> I think they spread disease sometimes. I hear more skittering around. Yep, right there. I see you, fucker! And they can uh, get engorged on your blood, I think, and like blow up and like fuck you up or something? I don't remember exactly what happened the last time I fought them at a, a junkyard, but they kind of like, they weren't good. Job opportunity! Sick of cutting wood over there yet? 
I've been working at West Virginia Lumberyard for a few weeks now, and it's a world difference. Better pay, better hours, best of all, no robots. Talk to the foreman here, and he's looking for a few more guys. You better grab the gang and head over here before someone else fills the spot. Hmm. Updated. West Virginia Lumber Co., huh? Where's that at? A lot of people down south here. I guess that's because, uh, yeah, it looks like they're all around the same level. Except for that guy. Jesus Christ, yeah. I am so blind when it comes to finding icons on the map, my god. I don't know where that new one is at. Well, no matter, we'll find it eventually. Alright. I think that's everything from here now, so... Yeah. Alright, let's head out. We will, uh... Kind of continue... Onward. Looking for stuff and some things. Get all that jazz. Nothing here, huh? Oh, a bowling ball. I'll take that. I said I'll take that. There we go. A beer hat, too? Doesn't offer anything different, but, uh, does make your character look a little, a little odd. Honestly, I'll keep the party hat on for now. Alright. We got some sort of farm over here. Oh, hey, a construction robot? Hey, buddy. That's a interesting arm you have there. Trees are the enemy must eliminate. Trees transferring access. You do that. You have fun eliminating those trees, my dude. A rabbit. Where's it at? Let me add it. Anyway. Check out this little shack here. in Homestead, huh? Oh, scissors. I didn't even see him on the fucking thing there. Bag of fertilizer. And yeah, nothing really there. Alright, we'll just scrap all my junk again. These are the scorched. There's a lot of fucking loot. Holy crap. So the scorched, excuse me, are like the, uh, they're like feral ghouls in a way, except they're more, uh, more human. They haven't gone as far as uh, feral ghouls have. They have some sort of intelligence still. Fucker! Okay, there we go. Shit. Ah, right, my pipe is broken. Let's go, motherfucker! Let's go! Oops, missed him. Okay. Almost died. Which, uh, button is... Damn it, wrong, wrong buttons. There we go. This didn't pack me up. Okay, I'm hidden. Excellent. Well, I can switch my fucking shit now. So, personally, I like having my stim packs on zero. Not the equal sign, for whatever reason. <laughs> Call me weird, but... What do I do? I wish I could, like, just remove an item here. I guess I can do that, and then... Do that, and then... A pipe bolt action pistol. Fuck that, I just put a fucking pipe pistol there. Okay. Well, now we got some more stuff. Let's go ahead and, uh, armor up a little bit, huh? 
Check a look at our guns. Oh, of course, I put on the wrong one. Let's go equip that one since it's a little bit longer. Better, I should say. Multi purpose axe. We have 27. The speed is slow. And this one is 16. The speed is medium. Hmm. I feel like the axe would be too bad to carry around, personally. Pipe wrench. It's not too good. Damage is. Oh, this one's broken, actually. Let's go ahead and unequip that. Got some knuckles, too. Okay. Oddly, the knuckles aren't fast. I guess fast would be saved for, like, chainsaws and stuff. Or, like, the, uh, the, 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 the... I don't even remember what it's called. Anyway, moving on. I think I had a pipe revolver, right? Yeah, right there. So last time, my previous character, I was going around with a hunting rifle and a pipe revolver. And, uh, some melee weapon. I forget what it is. But, uh, I guess we're doing that again. There, now we should have melee one, pistol two, rifle three. Okay. Make sure everything's loaded up. Excellent. Okay. Jeez, I guess going the right way actually does give you more ammo, huh? Kind of weird. Oh, I'm still scrouched. That's done. All right. Let's go ahead and scrap all the junk. And then we'll go ahead and just scrap some other random shit we got, like the beer helmet, knuckles. So scrapping items... Um, it not only gives you materials, but it uh, unlocks new crafting things for uh, similar model uh, weaponry. So, like, I got a, a tweaked automatic receiver for my pipe pistols now, whenever I go to a workbench. I got a bruising grip on it now as well. Extra heavy on the pipe wrench, and then I got a compensator for my uh, weapon rifles. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. So this is the weapons workbench. So if I go and do uh, this, I should be able to repair my items. Let's go ahead and repair everything. Just so... Uh, I'm missing copper for that, damn. That's a shame. Let's switch to crafting. So I can make a combat knife, a hatchet... Oh, wait, combat knives? Fast? Oh, that's cool. Anyway, there's also throwing weapons like throwing knives, which, uh, I'll go ahead and make a couple of those. Weapon condition degrades when they're used. Yeah, I got that. Now we have a, uh, backup throwing weapon if I need one. We've got a bobblehead! Explosives. So, unlike in previous games, the, uh, bobbleheads work a little bit differently. Um, also the magazines as well. So the bobbleheads, if we go to aid, it's an aid item. And for about an hour, what it does is it ex gives you a plus 30% explosive damage. They don't last forever. They're not permanent additions to, like, any of your arsenal. Maybe if you find, like, a special bobblehead, it is. But uh, in this particular case, uh, for, like, just random skills and stuff, they're not. They're, they're not at all. I thought they were at first, because I found, like, a bobblehead that gave you, like, medical or like plus 20% stim pack healing, and I was like, oh sweet! And uh, I used it right away. Not realizing that it doesn't, you know, do everything. So, uh, anyway, we need to uh, get some drink going. Get some eat going here. So let's go ahead and just eat and drink some stuff. Jesus Christ, got a super stim pack? Also, I'm glad these are back from, uh, what is it, New Vegas that had them before? I don't think Fallout 3 or 4 had them, did they? I can't remember. I got tick blood. Ugh. Weird. Also, if you look at the condition on the right side there, a lot of the food items and uh, perishable goods, like, uh, I guess, like, flowers and stuff, um, <clears throat> have condition. Over time, it'll decrease, and, uh, basically... It'll be SOL pretty quick if you're out of stuff. It'll like to turn into like rotten meat and stuff like that. And it won't be able to use anything with it. So going out of your way to like make a bunch of food and stuff is probably not a good idea. Kind of want to make what you need for a little while. And then from there, you, uh, you know, just kind of collect as you go. 
there's no point in anymore in having like huge amounts of you know, stuff in your inventory. Oh, look at these jack o' lanterns. Yeah, I can't go in a photo mode from that. It's weird. How about... How about here? Yeah, there we go. So we got a uh, Vault Boy. I don't know what that one is. We got the Mysterious Stranger. There's a face. Uh, the Vault Gear. The Vault Tech Symbol. Django's the main mon monkey. Yeah. There's gotta be like a shortcut to actually get into that. Hold on. I'm, I'm curious now. So, controls. Photo mode, photo mode, photo mode, photo mode. There's not? Huh. Hmm. Be a lot cooler if there was. Let's check this house in the barn there, and we should be good on this place. I heard something. Is that a safe? I think it is. We'll uh, look at that here real quick. Ah, shit. Need required skill one. How's my, uh... Ah, uh, one away from leveling up. So one thing the Scorch will do, I've noticed, is they'll act like they're, uh... Well, actually, never mind, I won't spoil that yet. Basically, the thing that they do shows that they have some sign of intelligence still. Just, uh, random Scorched corpse up here. Nice booty, my dude. Another scorched corpse? Why are there just corpses up here? It's kind of weird. <gasps> a cat! It's Cheswick. Motherfuckers killed a cat. Message to Sammy. Responders don't know shit. Every night there's more of them in the sky. Brotherhood warned them. Warned us all. Defiance has fallen, they said. What the hell does that mean? Supplies running low. We may try to get over to Abbey. Way over in the mountains. Free states have... Gotta know more. Sammy, you re read this. Get to Abby. Straight east of the Red Rocket Mega Stop. She knows the Brotherhood of Steel better than anyone. May angels look for you. Because she sure as shit. Uh, sure as shit, nothing else will. Uh, okay. So we got, uh, Abby's bunker on the, uh, the map now. So it was east of the Red Rocket Mega Stop. Is there like a Red Rocket? Some on the map somewhere? I thought there was. I might be blind. Hmm. Well, no matter. Other plays we'll find later in our little uh, journey, I suppose. These things here. So they will uh, try to act like these petrified corpses. Since they don't move and they're like kind of, uh, as you can see here, they just uh, are standing. And whatnot. Sometimes you'll see them just like standing still in the thing. If you kind of search them, they fall apart and then they leave like radiation residual in the area. If you get like next to it, it might uh, irradiate you or whatnot, but. Yeah. I have another option somewhere. I guess not? Okay. 
Oh shit, shame I don't have more perception to uh, loot anything from that chest, or not chest, the safe back there. Fuck, it's got a gun. Let's go! Got it. There we go. Alright, anything in here I can use. We got an armor workbench, that's good. Nothing much, huh? About up here. One of those petrified corpses just blew up. Nothing out here. Get a little toolbox over this way. Nothing. Damn it. Alright, well. Let's, uh... Scrap all of our junk. There we go. Actually, I got some more stuff I can scrap, too. Like this, uh, pipe pistol. Okay. Excellent. And then we can, uh, modify and repair. What do we got here? Here we go. That's all fully... Oh, wait, there's a box right up here, too. Shit. More alcohol that I'm not going to use. Interesting little dirt bike. Or I guess motorcycle. Not necessarily a dirt bike, but whatever. Alright, well, I think for now we've gone pretty far. We've got a, learned a lot, found a lot of stuff and whatnot. I just want to check this rock out here. Nope, can't do anything with it? Okay. Like with uh, wood, you can sometimes find like rock ores, like copper or aluminum and stuff, just in rocks. Uh, aluminum? I swear to God, I've got aluminum from rocks, but it's a fucking alloy. It's not a... It's just mine from the thing here. Whatever. Anyway. I think we'll just end things here for now, everyone. And then, uh... When we come back, we'll, uh... Well... Continue down... Across the stream... And get to the Overseer's camp. Can't see what's going on, but, uh... My mouth's getting dry, so... I figure we'll end things for now and continue a little bit later. Till then, everyone, bye now.